Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. And today we're gonna talk a little about, about, about if your boy Boost was to get a VR30 Nissan Z, how would he have it looking? And what are some of the modifications he would do? So you know what? This would pretty much be a wish list video. So guys, let's go. Let's hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Welcome everybody back. Welcome everybody back to the channel. Now, if you are subscribed to this Boost in Motion channel, that means that you're part of the like squad. Guys, please, please hit the like on all the videos from if you're subscribed to the channel. It's something that you guys can do for free on giving back to the channel. So please continue to hit the likes. Now, if you're new to the Boost in Motion channel, watch this video and watch some other videos that are relatable. And if you do enjoy it, definitely hit the subscribe button. But anyways, guys, let's go. Let's talk about. Let's get into the video. So. If you guys don't already know that um, Boy Boost is getting selling his Q60, it's probably already sold or it's selling or getting parted out. But as of right now, shooting the video, I have no buyers and this car will be fully demodded and sold. So that means your boy Boost is leaving the VR30 community. Now, a lot of people have been saying, oh, Boost is getting a Z, Boost is getting a Z. Honestly, I can't get a Z because the supply chain shortage and pretty much the want, the need for it is a lot more than the supply. So if I do get a Nissan Z, it'll be through the grace of God. But honestly, as of right now, we'll leave it as a wish list. All right. But anyways, if I was going to get a Nissan Z, you guys would want to know, what would your boy boost do? How would you modify it? So I just want to put a couple of screen shares up and we'll just look at a couple of photos while I'm talking. Because, you know, you guys don't want to stare at your boy boost. Like, what you looking at me for? Ugh. Yeah. But anyways, um, I like this Nissan Z. This is just some photo ops and everything like that. But honestly, I'm going to tell you, number one, the first thing I would do, um, I would need to get a Nissan Z that is red. Now, I know you guys are going to copy my style. You're going to copy me. It is what it is. But red Nissan Z. I ain't got no other color than red. I never had a red car, but I think a red Nissan Z would look the best. It's number one. Um, number two, I'm going to probably get it in 9 speed automatic. Now, a lot of the six-speed manual people love that. I live in daily, I daily drive, stoplights, Brooklyn, New York, New York City streets. Six-speed manual is not going to apply. I'm a cheeseburger shifter, okay? Paddle shifters, that's what I do. So it's going to be the nine-speed automatic. And from hints about the transmission, it's in already in a couple of the Nissan vehicles, and it seems like it's doing pretty well. But we don't know the performance gained from it or how much power it could take, but... If they're going to put a Nissan Z, I know they're going to make sure that it can handle the power. Now, moving forward, um, there's going to be different type of, I believe, option seats. But the seats that I saw that I really like are red and black seats. And I think they actually look pretty good. So I would really want to get the Nissan Z with those red and black seats. And that would probably be just for the, inter the, for the interior of what I would actually really want to get. Now, let me just show you a quick screen share of what I'm talking about and so that you guys can actually uh, see that. Now, that would end the exterior. Now, I know they're going to probably have an 18-inch or 19-inch option wheel. Honestly, I really don't care at that point, but I do want the car to come with a BBK. So that's something that I'll probably definitely would really want them to do because I don't want anything else. Now, you see these red and black seats? That's what I would want. Red and black seats, I believe in the middle right there is more of probably the cloth and the exterior, the bolstering is probably the leather or leather seats. And I like the look of that completely. Now, to finish off the, to finish to complete it off, let's go to the performance. There's only one motor. There's only going to be one option at this current moment. So honestly, I'm going to be the 400 horsepower VR30. Now, if I was going to now start adding my own boost in motion flair, this is what I would honestly do. Number one, what I'm going to do is I'm putting Anki RPF1s and, and SBC Super Black Chrome 18-inch wheels with like a nice, decent sidewall tire. Um, maybe an NT, 
NT55R or 55, or maybe just NT05R, not the R, just NT05s on there, like a 285 tire in the rear. And um, probably that tire. Maybe if not, on the cheaper side, I'll probably go to Firehawk. Um, I'll put some Hawk 5.0 brake pads in that car because it's they all the same parts been car, a uh, parts been car from the 370Z and the G37. So a lot of parts have already been used on this platform. So I already kind of know what I would want to get with the look of specific wheels. Now I already know a bunch of companies are gonna make like sway bars, coilovers. I know this Z is gonna have the adaptive, the adaptive, um, the adaptive struts that already exist in like the red sports and the 3.0 t sports and the q50 q60 so if it's anything like that i'm actually rather gonna probably go with springs first um i love coilovers but i know that this car is gonna be built a lot lower than the q60 or q50 so i know going with coilovers will probably be super too low or it might bring the car too low and i really don't want to create that look so i would probably stay if i'm staying with the adaptive uh, dds suspension i'll probably go with like a light drop about a excuse me, about an inch with adaptive um, shocks that already come from factory. Now, we'll have to wait and see what lips and diffusers and all that stuff comes out for this platform. But I've never been a guy to like fully lip kit up a car with front lip side skirts and a rear diffuser. So most likely this car is just going to have some aggressive front lip that I do add on to it. And that's pretty much, I'm going to leave it pretty much there on that. Um, you guys know I like, I think less is more. Um, I think less is more, so I'll probably like paint match it or something like that. Let me see if there's anybody here with a front lip. Like this one looks like it has like a molded front lip of some kind, or that's just probably the whole bumper itself, which is pretty cool. I think that's okay. But even some of these, um, excuse me, even some of these uh renders are looking pretty great. Like, you know, this is a render. I know it looks like a 350Z, but like it's something similar, like. Man, this car is really slammed. But I would want something a little bit more simpler. Maybe something like this, where it just pops out the bottom. Just something very simple, low key. Of course, the 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 um the top has to be painted black like that. But I still would want like the red to show. I don't want the whole top to be black like this. I don't want the whole top to be black. I still want the red arches and stuff to show. Just the black roof. Now, um, now talking about performance parts because that's the most important part. Honestly, because I've been in this platform so long, I already know the, the common modifications to get for this car. I'm going to go with high flow cats. That's it. I care about cats. That is what it is. I live in New York City. I don't deal with check engine lights. And honestly, I don't want, I don't know how these turbo is going to handle it, but let's keep it with the high flow cats. Um, from what was told from Z1 Motorsports, that the housing for these turbos are actually bigger because they did a 3D graph of them. And the housings are actually a little bigger. So knowing that's going to be actually be into play, um, I'm going to get intakes for this car. Uh, something very similar to AMS or AM competition or even um, Z1 Motorsports. I still like the OEM looks and OEM intakes because they usually design and they design the flow pretty well. Um, of course, some cab back is also of my liking. Something such as the AM competition, 3-inch one. Maybe a 2.5-inch. It all depends on the, on the sound quality, but... Honestly, this is like my first three inch exhaust I've ever had on a car, um, other than like my Maxima, which didn't make any sense. But the three, well, my Q60 had a three inch exhaust and it, it fit under there, but it's still very big pipes. But I'm gonna throw a little flare in here. I think I would go actually with a three inch single exit on the on this Nissan Z. Yes, a single exit exit exhaust. Of course, they'll have a shitload of resonators. But I think I would actually go with single exit because number one, I think it's more to that hot boy look. But number two, um, the VR30 sound really good when it's just single exit. So if you get a properly uh, non-drone exhaust, catback exhaust, some weight uh, weight savings, you could get a proper single exit exhaust. Um, of course, they, from what I've been told from other YouTube videos. The heat exchanger that's going to be in this car is like the same size. Like they really haven't changed the size of the heat exchanger. So that's when I was like, okay, so we have to upgrade the heat exchanger too. You already know, we know all the companies out there that exist. So that pretty much relates with all the performance components that we either we gain from intakes to exhaust to downpipes, right? What are ablaw valves? 
Don't really need to. The car has electronic blow valves or diverter valves with that's already OEM from the system. Will I add um, like certain sway bars and stuff like that to stiffen up the suspension? Yes, it all depends, but it depends what the car really comes with. But if not, Hotchkiss was always something I wanted to get for the Q50 and the Q60, but I chose not to. I, I had my still in on both, on all three cars, my still in sway bars. So I would probably get Hotchkiss for this car front and back because it's going to be a real drive car. Um, excuse me. And honestly, there's not really much after that other than getting tuned. Um, I would definitely want to tune the car on 93 fuel and see where that would actually end me up. Um, I would definitely probably tap in with the 85 because I was doing it on my Q60 and I felt a lot more comfortable modifying the car because I'm doing it hands on. If something goes wrong, it's my mess up, like I did on the Q60, but with the with the Nissan Z. That was something I probably want to tap in a little bit with more, knowing that these cars love E85 and they gain quite a bit of power coming from 93 to E30, especially with bigger turbo housings. So I think with this new VR30, we're going to see a lot of like 93 tuned VR30s are like 500 wheel just on 93. Like I think that's going to be a thing if the housings are designed bigger. And E85 is going to definitely put us at the higher spectrum. A lot of people in this community, from tuners to engine builders to companies, are going to throw so much money and parts at this Nissan Z, and it ain't going to be funny. These cars are going to be making 1,000 horsepower very fast. Sorry, this Nissan, that's a Toyota Supra, BMW Supra, whatever. They're going, to, they, they're going to demolish this car so fast, and I would love to be a part of it, but I'm not that guy that wants the high-end horsepower car. I'm just going to keep it simple and clean. And with some RPs and 2093 or 90 uh, or E30. And we're going to cruise it there. I know that a lot of people are going to probably bag this car when it first comes out, put 20 inch wheels with some stretch tires on it, kit it up. Someone's going to Rocky Bunny this, you know, Liberty walk this car fast. Like it's going to happen. This car is going to get chopped up and so much variation. So we're going to see so much different Nissan Z's out there for whatever your taste is. And that's the good part. But as a content creator as an influencer right i would love to be one of the first guys to actually get my hands on one because you guys love to watch these type of stuff right and usually and i'm one of the few people on youtube that knows a lot about the platform on the performance side and i'm around a bunch of companies and that companies and tuners that already modify this car so i would be one of the direct pipelines to talking about how to modify and how to kit up and how to do these cars right so this is just a video talking about what I would personally do and how a car would have it, how how would have the car look. And I already know people are gonna cop my style. Like it is what it is. Like SBC RPF ones, a little lowered, nice and flush with a front lip. Ooh, black roof, red and black guts. Oh my god, that car is gonna be sex, sex. I could, ugh, I already see it. I already see it. And I'm just man, I would love to get my hands on one, but as of right now, I can't be able to get one hand on one. There's a waiting list. And even then, you really can't order it off of any website. People are just putting it at locations. And you can't even, like, like build one on a Nissan website right now. So it is what it is. But in this video, I just want to talk about what your boy, boy Boost, do if I really got this car and how I'll really have it looking. Because, you know, we could dream. It's a wish list, right? So if you made this part of the video, thank you guys for paying with your boy, Boost. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can hit me up at Boost Emotion IG, Facebook, and Boost Emotion at gmail.com. Otherwise, than that, guys, you guys think I'm really dipping out the Nissan Z, the VR30, the Q50, Q60 Rome? No, I am a Finney guy at heart. I might drive a Mercedes C63, but I'm going to keep banging with my Infinities. So, you guys, have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Emotion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.